Hello everybody, it's Tuesday on The Breakfast Club and I'm JJ Talks with a Z. So, I'm on spring break right now, visiting my long distance significant other. Um, so I'm kind of in my pajamas and just chilling. This video is probably going to make a lot of people dislike me. Um, it's probably going to sound really insensitive. I don't mean for it to sound insensitive, but it will. And honestly, this video isn't, doesn't have any argumentative structure to it. Um, don't really have a slew of great reasons to support what I'm about to say. It's a very feeling-driven video, something that I've been feeling recently, and I just wanted to make a video about it because maybe some of you have felt the same way at some point. I have a lot of friends who struggle with depression, a lot of them, in real life, um, and on the internet, Twitter, YouTube, whatever, including myself. So, it's frustrating to me, TLDR, when I see people who are depressed talk about how depressed they are all day, every day, and also have their whole life handed to them on a silver platter. <laughs> And I know I'm, this is, I'm so against, you know, relative privation. Like, I'm so against, like, saying, oh, someone has it worse. Like, so therefore your problem doesn't exist. Because I'm not trying to say that. And I know pain is relative. And I understand that everyone's experiences are different. But it's just been a little bit frustrating for me. Um, so, I have one friend in particular on Twitter who struggles with depression, and all day, every day, that's what he tweets about, is his depression. And he's never had a job in his life. Um, he's an older man. His parents pay for his living. They're wealthy. They pay for everything. He gets groceries delivered to his house. He gets people cleaning for him. He eats, like, $100 meals every night. Um, he basically gets to live his life doing whatever he wants, which usually consists of staying home and doing absolutely nothing because, you know, depression can drain you of energy and make you feel exhausted, which I understand. But it's frustrating seeing someone who, like, literally gets their groceries delivered to them. You don't even have to go to the grocery store. And you can just lay in bed and watch Netflix or play video games and literally do absolutely nothing and have no other obligations. On one hand, I mean, it's kind of sad. But on the other hand, it's just like, how can you sit there and complain so consistently? I mean, depression doesn't choose your financial status, obviously. Like, depression doesn't discriminate against... Situational depression might, but chronic depression is not going to discriminate against, you know, how much money you make. It's kind of irrelevant. But... It just feels so frustrating to me. Because, like... I am someone who, when I'm in a bout of depression, I, you know, and which is very often, I, I feel very exhausted. I feel, I feel like getting up and brushing my teeth, taking a shower drains the life out of me. But I have to work 30 hours a week for free at my internship. And I have to be on campus 12 hours the other two days that I'm not working. And I have to volunteer to keep my scholarship. I don't get to stay at home, you know. I have to clean my apartment, I have to go get my own groceries, I have to take care of tofu, take her to the vet, I have someone to take care of her for me, like, it's just frustrating, and there's so many people who have to work to, to keep themselves alive, to keep their children alive, they don't, who struggle with the same level of depression as people who are like the person I just described, who don't have to do anything, and it's, it's frustrating, because I feel like they don't recognize this, they don't recognize that they have it so easy, and so when I hear someone say, they don't have the spoons, and like, okay, spoon theory, I don't know if you've read this story, but it's essentially like, okay, you have a certain amount of spoons per day to contribute to different activities, and once you run out, you don't really have the energy to do anything else, and this guy was like, I don't have enough spoons to like, what did he say, like, get up and use the restroom, or shave, or something like that, and I was like, well, I'm sure fucking glad there's no children whose life depend on you going to work, or you don't have to work, or you don't have to do shit. Like, it's just, 
it's frustrating and a lot of it does feel like self perpetuation and you know maybe these people like him are worse off because you know because they don't have any obligations they keep digging themselves further into a hole where they are detached from the world and you know are making anything of themselves and aren't forcing themselves to have social interaction you know I'm sure that perpetuates their depression um but I also am not going to sit here and say, like, oh, you just got to go outside and your depression will go away. Because obviously that's bullshit. Like, but, I don't know, maybe they are worse off because they're just sitting there burying themselves and talking about how depressed they are all the time. But it's still a little bit frustrating. Because I understand, again, everyone's life is different. And But when someone tells me that they don't have the energy to, like, you know do the dishes, or, you know, vacuum a room of the house, or whatever, when, you know, fucking me neither, but I have to do it, you know, it's not an option for me, it's a little bit frustrating. That's all I really had to say, hope that didn't sound too bad, because I don't want to discredit anyone's mental illness or experience, but, you know, I wish... Some people would recognize how easy they have it in comparison to other people who struggle with the same thing as they do, you know. And I'm not saying I have it super hard. Um, I'm just saying I'm a, I'm a very active person who has to stay active for multiple reasons. But there are some people who, you know, they have to work to live. And they have to work to feed their kids. And they have to work to, you know, put food on the table. And that's not an option. You know, being depressed and having food delivered to them, you know, $100 steaks. Okay, I'm done. Delay Nicole, you are up next. <laughs>